Hi developers, I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to enable support for multi languages in the Marine Forms application so that our application will adapt to the preference language in our user's smartphone. This means if the user is enabling the Arabic language on her smartphone, then our application will display content in the Arabic language. And the same is um, could be uh, doable for other uh, languages as well. So let's learn how to do this in Xamarin Forms. Here I do have the same application displayed on iOS and on Android. You see here on iOS it's displaying the hello in English, but on Android because the device is an Arabic language, is, it is displaying the message in, uh, in Arabic. So to enable this support for multilingual, we'll, we'll use a plugin called Multilingual Plugin. This one is available open as an open source project on GitHub. So you can go to this page right here and you can see the uh, platforms it supports. So it supports iOS, Android, UWP, Mac, WatchOS and tvOS also. And you get also all the steps required to enable this plugin in your project. So this is available also as a NuGet package right here on NuGet.org and today we'll use this NuGet package to add that support for our application. So let's go back here on Visual Studio. I'll start from a new project. For that I'll go to File, New Project. And then here I'll choose the cross-platform template, cross-platform app, then I'll call my app multilingual demo then hit ok from here I choose the portable class library PCL project once the project is created we'll go and add the multilingual plugin so we'll go to our uh, solution right click then from here select manage NuGet packages for a solution we'll go to browse and from browse here from this search bar we'll go and look for the plugin dot multilingual and here we get it we need to install it in all our Xamarin Forms applications that we want to support for that I'll check all those, those uh, check boxes then hit install to add the plugin to each of those platforms that actually will add the required DLL so if we take a look at the portable class library the references then here we can see it adds a reference for plugin dot multilingual and abstractions the same thing for the Android project. If we take a look at the references, we see here multilingual uh, plugin dot multilingual uh, DLL. It also added a helpers folder right here, which contains a translation extension text file. If we right click on this text file to open it, we can see it's a C sharp code, but it's at the extension of .txt, and this is used. You if you want to if you are using Xamarin Forms if you are targeting Xamarin native for only Xamarin.android and Xamarin iOS then you don't need to use this file only for uh, Xamarin Forms so here we are building Xamarin Forms applications so here I'll go and change its extension to .cs instead of .txt so now Visual Studio will recognize this file or this code as C sharp code Let's now add the resources files. For each file, it will display the text in the language that is created for. So let's go to the portable class library, right click, add a new item. And from here, we need to look for file extension resx. But here we don't find any. I think here it is a bug in uh, VS. 2017 it should work on VS uh, 2015 or 2013 but that's not a problem actually what we can do here is that we can go around and look for for example text file then call it app resources dot resx make sure you name it uh, resx the extension let's click add 
So you see here it added that file app resources.resx and with that file we do have some C sharp code to generate the code in the resx. And from now this app resources we can create the messages or the labels that will be displayed in our application as key values. So we do have here the first thing to specify is the name of the um, of the first label. So let's say here I want to display a hello message. So for that I say here hello message. I want to display the data here in English. So this default app resources is meant for the English language. So I should be here hello for the value. Not here you can add some commands if you want. Let's save that. And now to add other resource files to support uh, other languages, I here I'll go and copy and paste this same file. So copy and then I go and paste it. So it created this uh, copy for me. Now let's say this is going to be the, uh, the file that will support the Arabic language. So what I need to do is to create or to add the dot AR for supporting Arabic, then click OK. If we open this file now, we, we can add the same hello message. And here make sure you are copying the, uh, the same value. And then you, you paste the value you want. Here in Arabic it should be Marhaba. Ctrl S to save that. And now let's add support for some other uh, languages. Now let's add support for Hispanic, for example. So let's copy and paste it again. And change the name here to be .es, for example. Let's open that file. And from here, in Hispanic, it should be hola. Now let's show this translated message in our uh, XAML Informs XAML page. So from here in this label I want to display that message. So I'll go and bind to the, um, this translate extension right here. So what I need to do, I need to get the namespace for it in order to be able to use it. So I'll add a namespace here. Let's call it translator. Then we can use that namespace translator in order to invoke the translate right here. And then we ask for the value that we want to show here. It should be our hello message. The same value as we have specified right here, the key for the message we want to display. Let's save that and now let's try this in an Android application. Here we can see the message displayed in the Arabic language because my phone here is uh, set to show the, the Arabic language. If I want to test for the, if it works for the other languages, then what I can do is that I can go to the uh, settings of my phone. So I go back here to settings. Then right here I choose the language. Then from the first entry I can uh, change to another uh, language I want to test. Here let's choose English for example. Now let's come back to our application. Here you see that it's still displaying the text in Arabic. And in order to enable the English here, we need to close and relaunch the application. So I'll go and close it. And here it is displaying the hello message in the English uh, language. So this was how, how to use plugin dot multilingual and Xamarin forms applications but you can also use that plugin in uh, native projects and from 
here from the um, github page you can see all you can have all the steps required to enable uh, that uh, scenario for your app so i hope this video was helpful for you and thank you